obviously <laughs> difficult matching up with a guy like Zach Eadie. Can you just, it, it, you know, explain what makes it so difficult to match up with a guy like that? Well, you know, I, I think, yeah, he's, he's, he's difficult. But I, I think you have to uh, give credit to the rest of the guys that are out there for them. They really executed tonight in terms of screening and cutting and ball movement, which makes it really hard. You know, if you're trying to focus on him, you know, they obviously, are, they're not a one-man show at all. They have shooters, they have drivers, they have size. So, you know, they stretch your defense in, in ways that makes it very difficult. You know, I thought we, we could do better than we did. Uh, you know, we really worked hard this week. But I think you've got to give credit to that team collectively. <coughs> you know, with all due respect to the guy that got, what, 25 and 12. Uh, you know, I just think the rest of that team was, was really good tonight. Brady, what does, over here, what does Lance Jones add to them this year? Well, he, he just gives them another weapon. I mean, I think he fits with Matt's style. You know, he's, he's an athlete. He can push it, he can play fast, he can play half court, he can make threes. He works hard defensively, you know, fits obviously their their style on defense, you know, kind of in your face. So you know, he, he, you add a veteran guy like that, you know, it impacts your, your, your program. Now you're you're bringing guys like Gillis and Ethan Morton and Caleb First off the bench. And he's starting for most teams. Coach, um, let's uh, we'll forget about this game tonight, but let's talk about your team for this season. What are you seeing with your team this season, you know, moving forward? Well, I got to keep getting those young guys some minutes. I think I quality minutes tonight. I think they learned. Uh, and there's just no substitute for that unless you play in this environment against a team of that caliber and you figure out what you can do or what doesn't work. You know, I think our offense – we were just talking as a staff, you know, our offense got really east and west. Uh, and that's a credit to the defense and the pressure. Uh, we were trying to move it and, and get some shot opportunities, but we, we just got way too east and west and, and not enough north and south. Trent, I know you've preached as not getting too high after wins or too low after losses. Um, is there anything, I guess, after a game like this you have to do to just make sure that the mental of the guys is staying high, or do you just do you let them kind of resolve that? Themselves? Yeah, I, I don't think so. I mean, it, it's a really terrific group of young guys. We have veteran guys in there that are going to take care of that. I mean, I didn't uh, try to invent things that happened or didn't happen and scream and yell. All right, we, we did do some things we thought we could try to do. Let's try to do them better. Let's watch the film. Let's try to get better and be better on Thursday night. We have to be uh, moving forward because, you know, the teams that we play in this league and obviously the next two games uh, have athletes like, like this team. So we, have, we just have to do a better job of executing our stuff and rebounding the ball. Two more questions. Brandon, you mentioned getting your young guys minutes. Uh, for, for Matt, Braden and Fletcher Lawyer played a ton of minutes last year. And I think when you played here, you had success in the second half trying to speed them up. How have they grown from year one to year two now that you've seen them like, in this season? Yeah, you know, they're not an easy team to, to press. They're not an easy team to get out of rhythm. You know, I think everybody that they play will be trying to do that. Uh, but, you know, even in, you know, the loss they had, I mean, they, they still executed their stuff and they were in rhythm, they had a chance, I mean, it was overtime. So, uh, you know, we, we turned them over a few more times last year probably than they did, but uh, they didn't do that much the rest of the year and they haven't done it this year. It's, it's not who they are. Brand, a string of losses here at, at Mackey, um, obviously a loud environment. Does that make it difficult for the guys to communicate or, or anything like that? Uh, I think anytime you play on a road, it's difficult to communicate. Yeah, that's why you have to be connected at both ends. You know, you're still able to make play calls. Uh, if you want to run plays, you know, we're primarily a motion team anyway, so we're not making a lot of play calls. So, uh, you know, that's what the road environment is supposed to be. It was tonight. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.